Hi everybody, this is Joe from Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I sharpen my chainsaw chains. Um, but before I do that, let me show you my setup over here. This is where I keep my two steel chainsaws. This is an MS-460 and an MS-260. And then this is where I keep the sharp chains at. Um, the 24 inch is for the 24 inch bar and then the 16 inch is for the 16 inch bar. And those are where I keep my sharp ones. As you can see, I don't have any sharp 24 inches available. And then this is where I put the dull ones at. It's next to my spare bar right here. So as you can see, I'm kind of behind it and I've been cutting a lot and haven't had uh, time to sharpen. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. So I kind of want to show you how I do it. Um, I've got a 16 inch chain on there right now. And the first thing I do is uh, mark one of the teeth red so I know once I go around where to stop at. And uh, I've already got this one set up. And uh, so it's ready to go just to save the time. So let me show you real quick and uh, hopefully I line this up good so everybody can see what's going on here. Yeah, I think that looks that looks pretty good right there. I get it centered a little more. Okay. So I just uh, flip on the power. Pull down on the chain. I keep tension on it. This has a um, a hydraulic press right here. So when I go down, it holds the chain in tight. But I need to keep it back to this backstop. So I hold this. I'll go down. I usually give it two hits and, and then cycle it to the next two. Probably take it off about one thirty second of material. But you can see it goes pretty quick. Now that one, this has two back-to-back -back teeth going the same direction, so I have got to skip that. That's where they uh, put the chain together at. side, tighten that back up, loosen this, this is what holds the teeth, go to the next tooth, I need to adjust this uh, backstop in a little bit for the other side, I did all this on the other side before, so now it should be, and what, it, what you do, come down, and you, you line it up with the tooth to get it right get it so it just uh, just barely hits the two before you really before you tighten this up that's pretty good right there and then this is the tightener right here so tighten that up so should be ready to go that the chain won't move, but that releases that. 
by raising raising the grinder. And this is a back-to-back -back key, so I don't go as far in the cycle. Just like that, I'm all done. So this chain is ready to go. And just take it, take it off here, and go put it over here <clears throat> with the other ones that are sharp, and that's ready to go. I know a lot of people out there like to use hand filers, and I tried doing it, but I just could not get it sharp. You know, the chain lasts for about 10, 15 minutes, and then you need to uh, use this thing again. So I much prefer doing that. So um, now I just got to sharpen the rest of those chains, and I was going to show you what I'll be doing once I get those chains sharpened. Nice day out. I had to shut the door because it was too bright with the autofocus. But just kind of want to go back here and show you my project for the rest of the morning. We can get all the the rest of these uh, oak and cherry logs split that uh, we cut the last couple days. That's all we have left of them. And then I'm going to put them in here. And as you can see, this area is getting pretty full. You can see that goes, that's total solid wood all the way back. So we got one more row to fill up right here. Fill it, Fill this row right up, up to there. And then this last row in here put it right on that pallet and this area will be full. I, I would guess there's probably at least a dozen cords in there once it's all full. So, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, like Joe's Premium Firewood on Facebook.